Morning guys, just in the odds here. Today's gonna be a different one for us. We're gonna be doing some trout fishing. It's summertime, got my kid, I've got Kelly. Say hi Kelly. Good morning everybody. <laughs> getting so, up, getting ready, getting fishy. So we're just gonna be trying, we're just gonna be going after uh, rainbow trout stalkers and then second to that we're gonna be doing some largemouth bass fishing. There's actually some smallmouth in the lake that we're going in right now. So a little bit of everything today. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. We're gonna be cooking some food. We got some hot soup for the boat. We got some hot dogs, some chips, things like that. It's gonna be fun. Anytime you're on the water, in the summer especially, can't argue with that, right? So. We're gonna be trolling out of the gate until we get our limit of trout. Once we get a limit of trout, we're then gonna go over to the bass grounds and start chasing these largemouth and smallmouth. So like I said guys, should be a good day. Hit that subscribe button. We're gonna get on the road here pretty soon. In this video, I'm also probably gonna throw in some how-to stuff for some trout fishing. So talk about the technique and why we're doing it. So if you guys have not done so already, check out Steelhead Gear stuff, baby. Use code ODDS15, gets you 15% off. And you guys can, uh, have a hat just like this. All right, guys. So we are going to be deploying our gear. We deployed a couple of rods already, but kind of going to show you a quick, quick rundown. We got a sliding weight right here. Um, this is about a two ounce lead. We got that going to um, a bumper leader, which is about 18 inches, and then to a little Seps dodger. It's going to dodge in the water. Kind of a short leader. Um, I'm running a really long leader on this rod and Kelly's running a longer leader on that rod So this one's gonna be a little bit shorter and it's just a hoochie smiley blade a little bit of reflection on that smiley blade And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it in the water And we don't even all we got to do for speed is just to check the way our, our dodger's thumping And that'll tell you if you're going quick enough or not. You don't want that dodger to roll over by going too fast That thing will actually start to roll so then you need to be within that that tolerance of the dog. So, first thing you want to do is just make sure it's spinning in the water. That little blade's down there spinning just like that. And that dodger's dodging right there. You can tell we got the right speed going. So I'm going to move it to the back of the boat. And I'm going to start letting line out slow. you got to let line out slow so that dodger and that gear don't roll over itself. We're going to play around with different depths. <clears throat> we're gonna run a uh, couple deep, a couple shallower. So this is gonna be my deepest rod here. It's on the bow. Hopefully we get bit so Charlie can uh, ruin some trout, guys. So should be a good day. We're excited. We just gotta find some fish. Kelly with his little MEP spinner down there and he's throwing some garlic sauce on there, some Pro-Cure. Or actually Northwest Bait and Sand, ain't it? Yep. There Thanks, Shane. Let's get one, it out. One thing we like to do is get some scents on there, right Kelly? See how she looks in the water? Ooh, dodging away, buddy. Keep fishing. Daddy, you're dodging my rod. You're like dodging my rod, Daddy. I'm really good, Daddy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> It's the wind. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, do that again. You excited for this day, Kelly? Trolling for trout? Yep. Trying out a couple different scents over here. Oh, was that a fish? 
Yeah, there it is. There it is, Charlie. Grab it. There, reel it slow. Good job, Charlie. I'm fighting it. I always struggle. Good job. I always struggle at him, babe. Oh, look at him fight. He's fighting good. Don't yank it. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's Hop back pulling. there. Pulling good? Pulling. All right. Wow, Charlie. Get him. Get him. Oh, there he get is. Him. Get down there, Kelly, with the net. Lift it up. Lift it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he popped out, but we got him. We got him. Look, Charlie. He popped off. You got him. You got him. He's in the net. Look it. He popped off. Oh, the little one. Can oh. I just touch it? Touch it. You got to drive back there while you're back there. <laughs> good job. Good job. One more time. Ooh, that was a good one, actually. Nice, nice trout. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, he's got a lot of hair. Skinny has nothing to do with anything. But, Daddy, it's still skinny. Has nothing to do with anything. I know. All right, folks, so we just pulled up our first trout. Oh. On our way, we need 14 more. Get five each. Um, Charlie is eating some snacks now. She caught the first trout. That was awesome. Ultra light rod. She reeled in everything. That's a good way to start the morning. So we're just making, we're trying to find them right now. We haven't really found schools or anything. I haven't marked schools, but they're definitely in here. So we just need to find out exactly where they're at. But um, we got four different presentations out. And actually the one that went off didn't have any scent on it. And it was after I sped up. So maybe they're not aggressive this morning. Maybe they're following our gear. We don't know yet. It's a little too early to tell. But we're out here doing it. We're excited. The one that got bit had the hoochie on it. So it was a little hoochie with a smiley wig. <coughs> and we'll show you that. We'll show you that in a little bit. Anyway, stick around, folks. Kelly's got one on, guys. Heck, is he still there? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting good. Charlie, come hold the camera for Daddy. Come hold the camera, you know how to do it. Point it at Kelly. Yep, you're doing good. Point it at Kelly. All right, all in fight for when he got to the boat. Yeah. Cool fish. You like it, Charlie? Mm. Nice. Good job. It's a good fish. Good fish. We're going faster, too. Oh, sweet. Came right out. Here we go. A little troutzilla. Oop. Hmm. Oh, Kelly, fish, fish. Hey, hey, hey. Here you go, just hold it. Point it at him. Nice work, kid. Oh, daddy's got a fish on. Daddy's got a fish on. You want to fight it, Charlie? Mm-mm. My hands are tired. Point the camera tired. down just a little bit. Is this good? Oh, yeah. Is this good, Daddy? Yeah, you're yep, good you're job. doing great. Yeah. All right, folks. Look at that. Nicest one of the day. <laughs> It's nice getting on these little stalker trout, man. They're fun, good times out in the sun, and uh, we're just having a great time. Charlie's eating snacks on the boat, it's sunny out, she's got her t-shirt on. I mean, we're just having fun, guys. That's what it's all about, so take your kids trout fishing, man. Yeah. Um, just want to talk about the trolling speed for a second. I'm not even looking at the graph. I'm literally, I'm literally just watching these rods thump. 
looking for that just little tick, 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 tick. I know that dodger and I know the way it should fish. So that thing's tick, 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 tick. You know you're going the right speed, so. Boom. Let's get her in the bleed bag. I don't know what his plan is. No, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna ah. try to Oh, there it is. Wow, dude, that thing buried. Charlie, find it. <laughs> Charlie, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Find I thought you like folded in half. But find it. Real. Good job. Good job. Oh, he's jumping. That's a big one. Let me sneak in there. Oh, he's on the back. Uh-oh. Can I keep him over here behind the boat, Charlie? <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> he jumped over your line and... Over here. Over here. Good job. Real, real, real. Oh, he's on the other side, Kelly. Okay. Keep him over there, Charlie. Don't bring him across that line. She can't really do much right here. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh my God. That's a brood. Yeah. So she let go of the rod. Char Charlie here just hooked the biggest trout, brood trout, 18, 20 inch fish. The thing jumps over this rod and then over Kelly's rod. Like we're trout fishing, so we're not reeling in rods or anything. And it came on the school of fish with a little pink wedding ring. And we got it all the way to the boat. I set the camera down to help the situation, um, to try to help Kelly out, to help Charlie out land this fish. And we somehow hand the rod to Kelly, and then she lets go of it, and then walks over here, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden the fish pumps up. It just slacked up, and, and it just pumped off. But that's okay. Charlie lost her first fish, and, and uh, she's learning what that that feeling is like losing a nice fish. We've all been there, and now she's upset because she lost a nice fish. How do you feel about that, Charlie? Okay. <laughs> she's a fisherman. Yep. It hurts to lose a nice fish, guys. But hey, we're out here doing it. Another one, actually. So while we we're mad about losing this fish. I left this rod, the same rod, in the water. And there was another brood trout that was came up and was looking at it. And then I, I moved it and then it turned away. We almost got bit like on the surface. That would have been crazy. So, pretty pretty good start. Fish on guys, finally got one on. Went through the old captain change and I brought the magic. Look at these ultralights, guys. Oh, oh he's dogging oh, you. A bigger one? No, he's just angry. Yeah. Got him. Got him, got him. Went a little deeper with that one. We haven't been bit in 20 minutes, so we're starting to be concerned. But uh, we, we made a comeback, guys. We lost that big one, and now we got one. Fish. Fish. Right there. Oh, he's tugging it. He's tugging oh, that's it. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh. Oh, he's down there. Nice, Kelly. That was also the deeper rock. What is that? What? Why is it so curled? <laughs> there he is. Nice and double. Lighter one. That's a lighter one. It is. More shiny and green back yeah and clear tail looks looks like a kokanee man it's weird but it's not a kokanee it's like a hybrid i wonder if that's one of those little landlock uh chinooks or something no it's a, gotta be a trout dude but okay, let's send this one home Look at that folks double the trouble 
Nice fishies. Oh, Daddy, look, that one has some pink. Yeah. So this is number four and five. Got one limit. One limit, Kelly. How does that make you feel? Good. That's why we're out here. Came out here to troll them up. Gonna troll them up real good, real quick. Go be flipping around for some. Some bass. So what Kelly's doing, he's got that cold water bleed bag right there. Great for trout too. And what we're doing is we're just cutting the gill and throwing them in the bleed bag. Once we get a limit, we take that limit and we put it in the kill bag. Which we've actually put the first three in there already, but we, they sat in there for a while, so. These trout are easy to do with just one big clip. Oh. There we go. Here it is, 68 degrees. Warm weather outside. It's gonna be a good time. Is it? Yeah. Got a trophy, right on. Charlie's watching her little TV, but she's gonna reel in the, uh, the next couple. I only give her a little bit of screen time, just a little bit. She doesn't get a whole lot of it on the boat, but she does get it a little bit. Keeps her occupied. She'll be back to find fish very shortly, guys. But we got this nice trophy, probably a 16 inch trout, 15 inch trout. We're gonna get it in the bleed bag right now. But uh, we feel pretty good about it. It's a nice trout. Heck yeah, guys. Charlie caught the biggest trout of the day. Awesome. This is a nice trophy. Uh, probably a, that's pushing 18, 19 inches, huh? That's a nice fish. And it's a beautiful color. It even has pink on it, what's my favorite color. Yes, it does. Yes, it's it a does. Rainbow, guys. So Charlie reeled this in and she, Kelly literally netted this fish and then she just set the rod down. <laughs> but she's caught five, six trout today and that's awesome, man. So I'm gonna get this fish in the bleed bag and, and we're gonna get back to fish. And this is, I think 10 or 11 that we got. So this is two limits. We might go bass fishing soon, we might not. With the way the bite has recently picked up when we got away from the crowd, uh, we might just get our last five fish and then go bass fishing. So I have the, the first Osmo action. And then all you need, oh, there he is. Charlie, fight it, come here, fight it. Fight it, fight it, fight it, come here. Point the, point the rod that way. Keep reeling. Good job. Keep reeling. He's in my rod, I think. Wow. Yep, he's there. You're gonna get him. Oh, he's feisty. That way, that way. That way. Over here. Reel up. Keep reeling. Reel up. Keep going. Oh, there he is! Nice job, Charlie. It felt good, but it was pretty a little bit strong, but I know it had pink stuff on the fish. It does. Pink stuff right there. Nice. Pink's my favorite color. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. That looks like a rainbow fish, but I know. It is a rainbow fish. How does it feel, Charlie? Good. Awesome. Hold it up. Woo! What'd you catch that fish on, Charlie? Oh, that was a good. red rod. Nice. Okay, put him in the bag. Good job. Good nice job. job. So what we're doing guys is I uh, forgot things and such. So we're making a point out of a stick that Kelly grabbed off of a tree. Um, and we're just gonna hold our dogs over the fire. Camping style, boy. Uh, so all we have is a little bait knife. And we're just carving away. Making a sharp little point. That thing. Look at that. That'll hold a hot dog. That'll hold a hot dog. It's the only way we got to cook hot dogs, so that's how we're going to do it, guys. Um, I can't think of everything. I bring everything else in the boat, so sometimes I forget one item, and usually that one item affects us in a really big way. So <laughs> that's what we deal with when we fish every day, all the time. We don't fish every day, but when we fish all the time and have kids and things you always forget one thing and I forgot a pan brought I brought all the the bowls for the soups and forks and all that stuff but not a pan so forgot an item of the day boys daddy what it's making noises <laughs> yeah so we're gonna eat some food real quick and then we're gonna go bass fishing look at that guys primitive camping <laughs> holding those dogs over the fire Charlie's holding one up. Kelly's holding one up. Doesn't always matter how, you just gotta get them hot. Have a hot dog. This one's not staying on for me. Oh, it's staying on this? <coughs> just keep it right there. Okay. Look at that, folks. How is it, Charlie? <laughs> Why do fish like watermelon color? I don't know, but these things smash. That's what we're gonna do. Watermelon swing blade. Bass fishing didn't work out so hot. We're gonna go around in circles again, do NASCAR laps. We only got five more to go? Yeah, five more to go. Look at this one. What's better than this? A few fish tugging on the line, no clouds in the sky. It's like 78, 80. I don't know, I'm kind of guessing, but it's warm, it's not too hot. It's good. It's a good time out here. Hey, I I get to go swimming by the dock with my daddy. <laughs> it was a good amount of... Oh, there he is, there he is. No, pick it up, pick it up. Dog. Fight it. Yep, he's there. Fight it. Oh, he's a big one, dude. All right. Hammer time. A little bit of update in the house. Do I have to point it at Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do this, dude. Yeah! You can see that? I want to see. Alright, guys. Oh. Just got whacked again. Oh. There it is. If he's still there, Charlie's going to fight it. I'm still going to fight it. He's not there. Let's just keep an eye on it. What is that rod fishing at? 40. Alright, guys. So I want to talk about one thing real quick. Um, one of the setups that have hooked our biggest fish today. Uh, basically, this is just an ultra light. I don't even know what it's called. It's called a, a Traw light. I don't matter. Ten dollars a bimart or whatever. So, but the main thing is we're running a bumper leader on here, and we're running a uh, super light. I think it's eight pound. So, to that from that bumper leader, this is this is something I normally don't do for trout, but it's called the school of fish. What it is, just a bunch of blades spinning down there, creating a bunch of flash. And then you have this piece of plastic, this little fender here. We just put our lead attached to that, okay? 
Now, with this setup, it's bringing in a lot of attractants, right? And we got a lot of visibility, a lot of sun out, a lot of shine on these blades. And then from there, we got a barrel swivel. And then from there, guys, I got like a three and a half foot leader from this barrel swivel to this super shiny wedding ring. Now, that's a single hook with a barb on there. Fish barbs here. That's a single hook. And um, that school of fish is bringing these fish in from wherever they're at. And they're coming to bite this wedding ring on the on the back end of that school of fish. So super nice, super effective way to fish, and it's caught our biggest fish today. And it's hooked our biggest fish today. Uh, the one that Charlie had on earlier. So nice setup guys. Pink wedding ring. Those are really good setups for those trout. Alright! Is he fighting good? Yeah, there you go. Nice job, Charlie. Keep keep it on there. All right. Good job. Good job. I see him. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Good job, Charlie. Keep reeling. Got him. Yee -hee -hee -hee. Good job. All right. Good job, girl. Look at that maps, guys. So. This is what we've hooked several of the spinners on today, or several of the rainbows on today. So those little MEP spinners and the, the wedding rings. So. This one's been killing it. Yep. I've been putting a little bit of Shane's Secret Northwest Bait Scent Garlic. Yes, sir. Honestly, out here it's really not needed. We've been bit equally on all the rods, but I feel better when I'm running some scent. Well, sometimes, like, the trout you're getting, I mean, it might matter, you know? You never know. Keep. But Sent half and don't send half and just play around with it. It's a percentage thing and I feel like it makes my percentage just that much better. So today I'm doing it. Actually, I kind of always do it, but definitely going to do it today. All right, folk. So we got our limited trout and everything come, came on these like six foot, five foot six ultralight rods. Super fun. This one has a line counter. This is a Lexa 300. It's actually a salmon reel. But the thing is, the drag don't work no more, so I use it as a trout reel because you don't really need drag when you're trout fishing. So the, the least amount of drag you have, the better, and those fish can fight, right? So, But this Dodger right here, with the shortest leader, probably the 18 inch leader, with the Hoochie Smiley Blade, the Moon Jelly Smiley Blade, that was the ticket today, okay? The hottest one we had. Most action, warmest water, the hottest one. I think there's something to be said about that. So the longest leader we had here came in third place. Now this is the school of fish. Like I was telling you earlier, hooked some big fish, right? Hooked a couple big fish. But it's the longest leader. This thing's about a three and a half, four foot leader and came in third place. And it has the uh, wedding ring, the pink wedding ring. So. Uh, Kelly's rod here came in second place, and that was before he re-rigged this. What did you have on there before? I had the MEPS. So he had the MEPS spinner on there, which did really well. How long was your leader? 24 inches. So he had the, the second shortest leader, right? And he had the second place rod. So I think shorter leaders was the ticket today. I wish it would have clicked in our minds earlier because we would have fished a lot of shorter leaders. Everything we would have done was would have been 12 or 18 inches, and we we would have caught a limit a lot earlier. But we did get a limit, nevertheless, and we're, we're excited about it. But we changed up to this hoochie spinner, and since he changed us up, he got bit a couple more times in the next half hour. So hoochie hoochies have really been the ticket for us today. So hopefully that's helped you guys a little bit. Shorter leaders and hoochies. Um, didn't the dodger really didn't play too much of an effect? I don't think because we fished similar dodgers all day today and it didn't really make a difference on our bite. So um, I think it was more so the leader length and the presentation itself. So I don't think scent played a huge factor today. I think, like I said, leader length and bumper length. Um, I Honestly, I think it was more about the action and the speed, more so than it was the length of the uh, Dodger bumper or the scent that we had on our presentation. So. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, man. We had a great day out here. Uh, caught some nice trophy fish. And 
we're going to get back to the dock and maybe do a little bit of swimming, and then we're going to head home. Hit the subscribe button, guys, if you enjoyed this video. And Charlie's up there on the bow, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.